designed really to be identical in terms of the way the flight control systems operate and what the displays are going to show the pilots. And we did that really to reduce the amount of training that it's going to take uh, to really operate the aircraft. This is uh, really where we're going to house our missile systems and also gives us the capability to store internal fuels that, uh, as we need to go and fly deeper missions. You can see that there's really no exhaust system on here. We're really going to vent the exhaust and we're going to cool the exhaust and the heat from that through an exhaust system that's going to run all the way down to the tail. When you get down to the tail and if you take a look up at the rotor system you can really take a look at uh, why this aircraft is really different these are the bearingless rotor system five bladed rotor system with torque tubes that run through the system give it a tremendous amount of power and strength and flexibility on the fan tail uh, again a very robust design this really handles about 900 shaft horsepower that comes straight back uh, from the engines in there and you can see that how we've got this design is a very protected area really gives it a tremendous capability protection against uh, enemy threat systems ballistics capability and again a very very unique and robust design Unlike previous helicopters, flight control computers ensure the pilot flies within the limitations of the machine. They prevent him overstressing the airframe and rotor system or damaging the engines by using excessive power. This fly-by-wire system gives the Comanche some unique handling qualities. Test pilot Bill Fell explains. I've flown a number of other helicopters, and if you, in another helicopter, took the stick and took it to the extreme of one lateral axis to the other extreme lateral axis, even if you did it slowly, you've probably broken something in that helicopter. In this helicopter, I can slam the stick from one side stop to the other side stop as fast as I possibly can and I haven't broken anything. All I've done is achieve some incredible roll rates. As a result, the aircraft can perform maneuvers that until now designers could only dream about. This aircraft, we can fly backwards uh, in excess of 80 knots. We can fly sidewards in excess of uh, 70 knots. Uh, those are not things that uh, you can do in other helicopters, and this aircraft handles it very well. You also, in flying backwards at 80 knots or sidewards at 70 knots, you can do that with your hand off of the controls. It will do it all by itself. Basically, if the computer's flying the aircraft for you, then it reduces your workload so that you can perform other tasks. You can assist in targeting, uh, and assist in uh, communications, the Comanche was designed from the start to be survivable on the battlefield. It's officially not called stealthy, but it is said to have low observability. It has an extremely thin shape, making it difficult for radar to detect and hard to see at a distance. And its retractable landing gear further reduces its observable profile. Also, by burying the engines internally and having a clever design of tail rotor, the noise generated is greatly reduced. To minimize the risk of thermal detection, the hot exhaust gases from the engines are cooled inside the tail before leaving the aircraft, thus reducing the threat of attack from heat-seeking missiles. Every system on the aircraft is digital, but what sets the Comanche apart is the onboard information gathering computers. The brains of this aircraft really have to do with the aircraft's ability to collect information. Uh, all totally integrated into the cockpit, into the mission control computer cluster. That provides the capability with a tremendous amount of information from the sensors that go out there. These digital detection systems will be able to provide the commanders back at base with constant information on the position of the enemy and their own forces. The Comanche will become the eyes and ears for the commanders of the future, giving them the power to control the battlefield.
Comanche is, is clearly a skip a generation technology. This is not one generation better than its predecessors that we have out there. This is two generations better. This does things twice as good as any of the conventional aircraft that we have out there, and it does it twice as fast. This will transform the world. This will change the way that, uh, that we fight wars uh, in the world. This is an information system, and, and information is power. And that's what Comanche provides to the future commanders.